Right, so after the first football weekend has happened now and the football leagues have got underway, we thought we'd come back and review how the relegated teams from the Premier League have got on. So with that being said, we're going to analyse Newcastle, we're going to analyse Aston Villa, and we're going to also look at Norwich. So, John, I think I'll leave you to do Newcastle. Yeah, right. So Newcastle, in their first game, were away at Fulham. And this is a Fulham team who's just lost their main striker in the biggest ever move in the championship, um, price-wise, of £12 million, was it? £12 million. To Aston Villa. I mean, we'll talk about how he got on later. But, yeah, they lost their best striker. So this really should have put a dent in Fulham's attack. But as the match went on, it was 0-0 um, for quite a portion of the match. And then the cross came in, and after a brilliant header... Fulham went one up, and everybody was shocked. Newcastle came into the league, firm favourite. Ex-manager of Real Madrid in the team, held on to brilliant players like Sissoko. They invested into players like, um, who was that former player, Richie? Yeah, Matt Richie. Matt Richie. They invested heavily. They kept on to their players, and they kept their world-class manager. They're meant to be firm favourites, maybe even beating their tally from when they won the championship a few seasons ago. Mm -hmm. But in their first match, they got beaten by a Fulham side whose attack had been depleted by the departure of their best striker. Yeah. So Newcastle, their next few weeks, they have to really get a few wins on the table because at the moment, only one game in, but it's not the best start. But next, we're going to talk about Villa and how they did against Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, so... Obviously, Aston Villa went away to went away to Sheffield Wednesday. Played at the Hillsborough Ground. Massive, massive game to play on your first game of the season back in any league. As a Birmingham fan, if I was going to play Sheffield Wednesday away, I'd be panicking. It's a big game, big football team, yeah. and it's a very terrifying place to go to, especially your first game down. And they're doing brilliant at the moment, like last season. Smashing it fourth, they finished yeah. playoff final. Semis. Semis was it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was a great team, great established championship side. And this is the thing, like, so they've gone away to this team and most of that first half, you could say that Aston Villa looked in the same shadow they was last year. Scared to attack, mentality wasn't really there. Mm. Defensive worries, they looked very slow on the counter-attack. You know, Forestieri is not the fastest guy at yeah. all by anything. He's Skillful, brilliant, but... There was a fair few times of that right back didn't know what day of the week it was. And Bakuna's a very fast player as well, so you can't take that away from him. The game went on, and second half, yeah, Aston Villa did. They started to pick up again. They showed intent, they had a few mm. shots, a few wayward shots, but a couple of decent saves as well from the goalkeeper. Definitely the dominant team second half, I'd say, out of two. Oh, yeah, definitely. You could give it that. Um, but then, again, was it losing Kieran Clark? We don't know, but... The shadow and why they got relegated last season came, and it was one big defensive mistake, one shoddy clearance left to a Forestieri one on one. Mm. Nutmeg the keeper in for one nil, and it's they look great in attack Villa. They did. They look powerful. They look good. They look like they caused problems. Yeah. But the two things they always struggled with last season while they went down: one, they can't defend; two, they haven't really got much of a goal threat apart from Au. Because Stead's great with his head, but. That can be marked out of the game. Couldn't finish their breakfast. They really couldn't. And that was the problem for them. I very much enjoyed it. But we'll have to see how they get on. Mm. How about Norwich, John? Well, but they're the opposite to Villa, really. They First match, away from home. You would have thought that away from home, first match. You, you wouldn't be looking to dominate. You'd be looking to get a scrappy win, I mm -hmm. suppose. But they just they didn't care. They came out, smashed four in. And came out winning 4-1. That's the perfect response to getting relegated. The fans would be loving it. The team would be loving it. Morale would be at an all-time high. And their promotion bid has got off to a very good start. But yeah, that's how the first match for all three relegated sides went on. And more negatives and positives for Villa and Newcastle. But Norwich, they're doing it right. We've been John and Jay's Football Gossip. And we'll see you tomorrow.